We're starting by Ezra Shem Yisim and Kuf Ayin Tes and Vayol Moshe, and we're talking about the Indian of the uh, what to do about Rishayim, not to be Malam Chus on them, and not to say good about them among people at Al Kapon, not to Hashem. You have to be Malam Chus. When you're talking to them, you have to spe- speak sharp words against them, and. Not only that, there was a category of real Rishayim, there were Humeses Mediach, people who are, who are Abikarsim, and they try to get everyone off the derech, and they, they make uh, in, in, uh, transit camps for the body children, and lead them off the derech, and make them uh, eat treif. Yeah. Those kind of people are real Rishayim. Then we had the uh, Rebbe Naftali from Rabshitz, and the Chorvus of Avos, who said that you have to have Sina, Takli Sina Sneisim Loibim Hayuli. Okay. So another example of that last category of Rishoyim that you have to mamish daven for their mapola, he's going to bring down now from the Bnei Yisachar. Take a look. V'akadosh harav tzvi eli melech Sechroni libracha ba'al mechaber sefer Bnei Yisachar Okay, the, the, the Bnei Yisachar, tzvi eli melech, the, the ancestor of the Munkat Sherebbe Kostav b'hakta masa, he writes in his introduction L'sifroi mayan ganim to his Sefer Mayan Ganim. Now this Sefer Mayan Ganim is a purish on the Sefer Or Chaim by Rabbi Yosef Yaivitz. Rabbi Yosef Yaivitz was a Spanish Jew who was a Baal Musser, he used to say Musser to the Yidden of his generation, and he spoke about why the Inquisition happened. And his opinion, the Inquisition and the expulsion from Spain happened because of philosophy. That the Yidden in, in Spain for 200 years before that had been very into learning Aristotelian philosophy. You know, they did by the school, they liked all kinds of secular subjects they liked to learn, you know, by the school. Huh? You know, in Germany, it became very, very popular right. to learn all kinds exactly. of secular Exactly, so that's what, the, that's what the dimming is going to be here, that the Rabbi Yosef Yaibetz in his time in Spain is talking about the, philosoph- the Greek philosophy that they studied, and the Bnei Soscher is talking about the Maskilim of his time. Uh. So that's why they found the common ground. So the, the so whole time... Found that, that, that the, not the Germans ended up kicking out of the same universities they attended. The Orachaim, right, exactly. Same idea, Spain. So the Orachaim, the Rabbi Yosef Yaibitz writes that the reason why such tragedies befell Spanish Jewry is because of the, the philosophy. And he wrote a whole sefer against philosophy. It's called Orachaim. And this Pirish Mayan Ganim, which by the Rebbe, way the Rabbi brings it in the Rabbi Yosef Yaibitz wrote it? Rabbi Yosef Yaibitz, right. Right. And, and now, on the side, the Mayan Ganim is a Pirish by the Bnei Soscha. And he says in his Hakdama like this. Uh, Hashem gave me the ability to write because I have uh, acted zealously against the sinners These are the, the poisonous uh, thorns that are harming the Jewish people the kitas of Erevav he means the maskilim in his time this is the 1800s, 1860s, 1850s. Hamuravim be Israel who are mixed into the Jewish people. They said false things about Hashem. They said apikorsis. The nispechu al beis Yaakov was apachas ulevaharas, and they have joined up with the Jewish people, even though the maskilim were apikorsim, but they remain Jewish. They still spoke Yiddish. They still lived in the Jewish community. They went to yeshivas too sometimes. They learned Gemara. They learned uh, all the Heligus Svarim, they wrote their own Svarim, and they, some of them were, um, you know, learned Sefer Svarim commentaries. But at the same time, they had these Apikorsa views. So, Zed, Darkom, Kolayoim, this is their way all the time, Lutsoide Nefashis, to capture souls, Laharchiko Meola Torah, to distance them from the yoke of Torah, Ulachabit Kel Nachrim, and to go off and study secular studies. The outside wisdom, which is the secular uh, philosophy of the time. And the reason why they do it is they want more Yidin to go off the derech and become philosophers, maskilim, because that, that makes them more comfortable with their, with their hefkeir, stick of life. Because they want to throw off the yoke of mitzvah, even though they themselves already threw off the yoke and they already became a maskilim, but they want more people to be maskilim. Right, like the tzioyim, the tzioyim is not, not enough for them. Their tzioyim, they want more tzioyim in the world. They want to bring all the all the, the people to Eretz Yisrael, make them all tzioyim. Vayoyim rulakel, and they said to Hashem, Sur mi menu, get away from us. Vedas drachecha loichafatznu, we don't want to know your ways. 
Now, the Ilunis are Bagoim, if they would just mix into the nations, and they wouldn't call themselves Jews anymore. So Hechrashti, I would be silent. I wouldn't speak against them. That's what we're hoping for in any case. We're hoping that one day there'll come a day when Hashem will take all these uh, bad elements out of Kali Israel and he'll purify us. And he'll take out all the impurities. And he'll, he'll melt this down. Like the silver is purified from the uh, impurities. The vineyard is going to be cleaned of all its thorns and all its, uh, all its uh, weeds. Right? From the five groups of Erevav, Asher Beginayu Naflas Hezi Ira Begalusa. Okay, that's some kind of Kabbalah Zach, I don't know what that means. But uh, the five Kitas of Erevav will fall away. Ah, Hetzi Kastni Ruach Bitni. However, it's not the case. That would be nice if all the Maskilim would go off and just completely assimilate and we wouldn't hear of them again. But that's not what happened. Therefore, it pains my stomach to see I see that these, these uh, Hefkadika people Lahachis, and they're, they're doing sins in order to make Hashem angry and they still call themselves Jews but they hate Yiddishkeit and they, they fight against us against our Torah they fight against their own lives they go to our enemies they go to the Russian government and they convinced them to uh, enforce the decree of secular studies. That's what the Russian Is government Russia, did. Is Russia the Pnei Sacher? Well, the Ru- Russia then was mm-hmm. Poland also. Oh. Poland was under Russia. Oh. So they, uh, they go, he was in Dinov, by the way. Dinov is Poland, I think. Uh-huh. Galicia. In any case, they, they go and they, um, and they convince the government to introduce secular studies and to force them. That's why the, 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 the Russian Yeshiva had to close you know, they, they, they had a, a, a laws about this. And every Rav had to be a Rav Mitam, he had to go to school and become, have a degree. And they, they uh, would take away the Torah, the, the pure vineyard, the beautiful vineyard of the Torah from Hashem. And they, with the, the um, temptations of Azoina, they try to tempt people into their, into their, uh, their studies. The young and the old, their their mouths are smoother than honey, than uh, than oil. But the end is as bitter as gall. They think very deeply into it. And they have a whole kind of a whole plan, a whole complex plan. To stop the Jewish children from learning Torah. So heavens be amazed at this. Let our, let our cries and our prayers not have any place to go. In other words, let them just build up and get stronger and stronger. Until Hashem looks down from Shemayim and has Rachmanus, and He destroys all these mixtures of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Rishayim and Klal Yisrael, who lo hasir b'dileinu hazoyna, to take all these uh, bad elements out, ula ta'areinu kekesef mezuka kashuva saim, and make us pure like silver. V'hine, ze kvar itim v'yamim, that it has been a long time already, kasher over alai ruach kina, that I had this uh, zeal about me, and I fought against these people, and ratzisi lichtoi v'al sefer, and I wanted to write down, make a sefer, Zikar on the basis of the Bnei Yisrael, a sefer to, to remember, to, for Jews to remember what happened, Asher lo yikrav ish zar b'nachlas Hashem. So in other words, even if this happens again, they'll have something to look back to and they'll be able to compare it to what I wrote. And those who pay attention to the Torah and mitzvahs, they should keep completely far away from those who are... Um, who are sinners? Me least apeach benachlas Hashem. They don't let. They shouldn't let them come in and become like part of the Jewish people. Don't let them in your yeshivas. Don't let them in your communities. Below is arbu imam. Don't mix with them. Yuyin sham sheherich oid harbe. We see from this. Take a look. And he, he goes on at length about this. Ve'atakti chelak me'arich dvarav. And the reason why I copied over so much of his words here is ki harbe yesh lil moid mikol elu advarim. We can learn a lot for our situation today from the words of the B'nai Saskar. 
Hayotzi milev kadosh. That comes out of a pure, holy heart. La misboinin bohem. And this is true for anybody who uh, studies them in Hachav Yad Kalaf from beginning to end. Okay? Venoida, so what does he mean? He doesn't say exactly, but he means obviously there are great analogies here to the Tzion and every word that he says here. There are some, some of them who are, you know, they're, they're Machtiye Rabim. We don't want them to be part of Kal Yisrael. How by they shouldn't call themselves Jews. And the same idea as this. Okay? Uh, so. Now, but the point he wanted to make now, at this point in the Sefer, is he's talking about the, the, the Talmud of Hashem. People claim the Talmud of Hashem have always spoke good about Rishoyim. So you see here, the Bnei Soscher was uh, was the Talmud of Hashem. He says, "Menoyda Asher Hakadosh Anal Hayim Migdoyli Talmud of Hashem to Hakadosh." He was a great Rebbe. He was a great Talmud of Hashem to Midoyra. Asher Hiskimu Kulam that everyone agreed she called Dvar Beruach Hakadosh that everything the Bnei Soscher wrote was Beruach Hakadosh. V'loy Ke'ela Hahoygim. So this is a proof against those who claim in our times they claim to be following the Derech Abal Shem Tev but they don't even know simple matters of Yiddishkeit and because they for sure don't know what the Derech Abal Shem Tev really was.